Now, if you want to buy something, what would you do? You take money, go to the shop and take whatever things you want. Easy, right? But do you know how we purchased goods before the invention of money or coins? Have you ever heard of barter system? Yes, before the invention of money, people bartered for goods and services. Barter system means the exchange of goods without the use of money. Hi, I'm Manisha Vinod. I'm here to share some amazing facts about the barter system and origination of money. Barter system means to trade goods or services in the exchange of other goods and services. Let's look at it through this example. Mr. Sharath is a cloth weaver and he wants to buy some fruits. He goes to Mr. Vishnu who has a lot of fruits with him for sale. Since Vishnu wanted to buy some clothes for himself, he happily gives the fruits to Sharath and accepts the clothes in Britain. Now, both Sharath and Vishnu are happy as they got what they needed. This system is known as the barter system. Suppose the next day Mr. Sharath again wants to buy fruits by exchanging his clothes. He approaches Vishnu, but unfortunately mm -hmm. Vishnu doesn't want more clothes. So, the barter system fails here. That is why it is said that the barter system is based on the concept of double coincidence principle. That is, both the seller and the buyer have to agree to sell and buy each other's commodities. Where this double coincidence principle does not exist, the trade under barter system would be impossible. This made our old generations to think of ways to overcome this limitation. Thus, metal money or coins were invented to be used as a standard method to buy goods and services, which later on evolved into paper money. Ancient India was one of the earliest issuers of coins in the world. The word rupee is derived from the Sanskrit word rupyakam, meaning a silver coin. The story was interesting, right? Did you like it? Stay tuned for more such amazing facts. Till then, bye!